Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunan relating to the Eid festival. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, for today's episode, I would like to touch on the Sunan relating to the beautiful day of Eid, which is just around the corner, inshallah ta'ala. It is sad in a way that we are nearing the end of this blessed month and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us all to attain many more months of Ramadan in the future. Ameen. Now moving on to the list of Sunan. Number one on the list is Ghusl. It is highly recommended to take a bath before going for the Eid prayer. Just like we take a bath in general before any congregation like Jumu'ah and other public gatherings. The next sunnah in line is to eat something before leaving for the prayer. And this is specific to Eid al-Fitr, which is the festival of breaking the fast after the month of Ramadan. Anas ibn Malik anhu states that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, would not go out on the morning of Eid al-Fitr until he had eaten some dates of which he would eat an odd number. The next very important sunnah on the list is to pronounce takbir. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. The time for takbir on Eid al-Fitr starts from the night before Eid until the Imam enters to lead the Eid prayer. Saying takbir when coming out of one's house to the prayer place and until the Imam comes out was something that was well known amongst our Salaf, the early generations, rahimahumullah. The next sunnah in line is to wish one another on the day of Eid. Such as saying to one another, Taqabbal Allahu minna wa minkum, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept good deeds from us and from you, or Eid Mubarak, and other permissible forms of wishing one another. Next in line is to adorn oneself on the day of Eid. In Allah Jameel, wa yuhibbu jamal, indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beautiful and he loves beauty. So let us beautify ourselves, adorn ourselves with the very best that we have on this beautiful day. The final sunnah that I will be touching on in this episode is to go to the prayer place by one route and to return home using another. It was narrated that Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu, his report to have said, on the day of Eid, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam used to vary his routes. And this particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam, Imam al-Bukhari. It was said that the reason for that was so that the two routes would testify for that individual on the day of Qiyamah. For the earth will speak on the day of Qiyamah and say what was done on it, both good and bad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. And also, another reason that has been mentioned is that it is in order to manifest the symbols of Islam on both roads. With that, I leave you all. Have a blessed and joyous Eid, inshallah. Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing Sunnah revival. Give a thumbs up and share it around. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Support the Dawah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.